Extensive markup language is everywhere. In this video, we're going to talk about XML and a few of the ways you can use it in WordPress. XML is what's called a markup language. That means it's a language based on tags to add information to elements within files. Here's an example of a simple XML snippet. If you save this snippet as a .xml file and open it with a web browser, you'll notice it's recognized as code. However, you can't just use any tag you want. There are actually approved schemas for XML that you'll need to use. Markup languages as a whole are much more versatile than you might imagine. Another example of this type of language is HTML. It's the skeleton of the entire web, but still remains easy to pick up even if you don't have a programming background. As far as XML itself goes, it has a lot of uses. It's frequently used to store, transmit, and display data. In addition, it's used in web development to store information in plain text, which makes that data easier to import and export. Let's look at three ways you can use this functionality in WordPress. Number one, importing and exporting plugin data. Even the simplest WordPress website includes a lot of data. In many cases, each plugin you've installed will also store its own data set, which you can sometimes import and export as an XML file. One example of this is WooCommerce. A lot of extensions enable you to export your product list as a plain XML file. This can come in handy for your records or if you want to import the same products into another website. Number two, uploading theme unit test data. The easiest way to test the design of a theme is to use dummy data so you can see it in action. WordPress.org offers an XML file that contains testing data. To use it, all you have to do is download the file, go to your WordPress dashboard, and select Tools, Import, WordPress. When the process is over, you can see how your theme looks with all of that new content. This will give you a better idea of whether you want to use the theme or not. Number three, migrating your WordPress content. Last but not least, what if you want to transfer data from one WordPress website to another? To do this, you need to go to Tools, Export, and then choose what content you want to export. WordPress will generate an XML file and download it to your computer. You can then repeat the same process as in the previous section. Keep in mind, this process will import your WordPress content, but it won't affect the plugins or themes you're using. To transfer those as well, you would need to perform a full migration. And there you go. Now you understand XML and how you can use it with WordPress. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.